Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Right. Look, I gotta ask. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's a goddamn hero, that woman. Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? The way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Heeks made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. Business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, Fuckers hijacked our system. Somehow they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine, and I didn't even know. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And on top of that, he got his hands on an old school nuke that I ended up carrying right into Middle Knot City. You tell me then. Yeah. It was me. I blew it up. Could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the city. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. They don't heal. Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true. Except for all the lies. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. But I'm not about to let Higgs and some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why I came to you. So, trust me now. I'll be there for you, Sam.
Sam, those new sites you've brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to dig up anything about the BB's origins. And I'm completely locked out of BB-28's service record. If I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Well, I'll keep at it. You do the same. Sam, check the terminal for available orders. Pig set fragile up, huh? He is dropping again. It's all in your cuff logs. And with the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Middle Knot City's regional archives. The records corroborate her story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her, then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bot you sent out made it to its destination. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. One more thing, Sam. A new delivery type has been added to the terminal. Your hard work's getting noticed. And because of that, there's been some talk of offering a premium service. Now, it might seem like a hassle to willingly take on extra restrictions, but if you succeed, you'll boost your rep even more. So, if someone asks you to deliver within a time limit, you could counter it by setting the limit even lower, thereby earning yourself a better evaluation if successful. Now, if you're feeling up for a challenge, give it a try.
Thanks. You did me a real favor there. Thank you kindly, Sam. I'll treasure it. Sam, sometimes other porters will return Bridges' vehicles to the garage. They're for everyone, so feel free to use them if you want.
ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. The objective is to head to the bridge's weather station and connect your cupid. You'll also need to install a chirelium gauge. The gauge will measure fluctuations in chiral density much more precisely. We'll be able to provide more accurate forecasts for timefall and other phenomena. Timefall and elevated chirelium levels have a strong correlation with BT activity. So, installing this gauge will help us to help you and others like you.
delivering cargo. Hello? Sam Bridges, right? We've been expecting you. The gauge you brought is going to save a lot of lives. Let me do a quick inspection. Oh, wonderful. It's in perfect condition. Thank you. Once you connect us to the network, we'll be able to share our measurements with everyone. You mind doing the honors? I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chiralium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the same for you. We won't let you down, I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. There's a significant impact on Chirelian levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. The more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the Chiral Network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your cufflinks. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the Chiral Density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the Cairo network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. It could be useful when plotting your routes. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Delivering cargo. You're doing a great job, Sam. You've helped us expand the chiral network deep into the mountains. But our colleagues at the weather station still have it rough. And you know as well as anyone how treacherous the roads up there can get. 
They may be networked now, but they still need regular supply runs to survive. We'd like you to build a safe house nearby for other porters handling deliveries. There's a perfect spot about halfway up the mountain I've designated as the building site. If it turns out there isn't enough there for our needs after all, you'll have to come up with the rest on your own. We've added a timefall shelter option to your PCC. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. Congratulations, Sam. Your PCC's leveled up, so to speak. It now has the capacity to produce more complex structures. I'll let Mama fill you in on the details. Sam, I've added a safe house schematic to your PCC. It's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to build. But once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Give it a shot. A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady supply of chiral crystals to operate. Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go. Thank <laughs> you. 